Did you know with Google Ads call tracking, your campaign can generate up to 40% more conversions? But here's the thing, most people just aren't tracking phone calls inside of their Google Ads campaigns, and this is leading to a whole bunch of clicks, but not knowing whether or not your campaign is actually generating you leads and sales. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to set up every single type of call tracking in Google Ads. I'm gonna walk you through how to set it up for your actual website or landing page, so when someone clicks on it, they can call you and you can see that on your call only ad or even on your call extension. I'm gonna go through all of that. I'm gonna take you step by step. It's gonna be nice, easy. And at the end of it, you're gonna see whether or not your Google Ads campaign is actually generating you leads. Now, first off, my name's Matt. I'm the owner and operator of Tradesman Digital Marketing, a full service Google Ads agency that specializes in service-based businesses. We love phone calls and so do our customers. So it's super important to track all that and let's get into it on exactly how to do that. First thing we're gonna do is come over to our Google Ads account. And what we're gonna do is scroll to the left side. We're gonna come here to goals and under conversions, you're going to see summary. We're gonna click on that. And what we're gonna see is this beautiful page that pops up. It's gonna have a whole bunch of conversion actions or it might not have any depending on how new your account is. What we're gonna do is hit create conversion action. This will allow us to actually build out conversion actions for our campaign. And we're gonna be able to actually see whether or not we're getting calls, which is cool. You're gonna have a whole bunch of options here, as you can see from a website, from an app, from phone calls and from offline. For today's video, we're going to be focusing on phone calls. If you want to be tracking form submissions, so if someone sends you an email through your landing page or a website, I have a completely free video online. I'll link it up above. It walks you through how to do that. Very, very simple. But what we're going to do here is click on phone calls or conversions from phone calls. We're going to hit continue. And as you can see here, it says phone call lead. We're going to click on that. And we have a few options here. We have set up calls from ads or calls from website visits. Calls from ads are essentially organically tracked from Google anyways. Calls from websites use a forwarding number. So they're slightly different. Use a forwarding number that's placed on your website. It's slightly different, but essentially it's the same thing. Uh, what we're going to do is hit set up for our calls from ads. This is going to be pretty easy to do. It's all in Google. It doesn't need to install anything. What we're going to do is type call extension here so we can actually track all the calls from the call extension. A call extension, I'll put a picture of it up on a screen, is a little button that pops up below your responsive search ad that allows people to call you. Very useful and you can get a lot of leads from them. What we're gonna do is name our conversion call extension so we know where these conversions are coming from and what leads they're coming from. The next thing we can do is add a value if we like. If you wanna add a value for every single call that comes in, you can absolutely do so. You could put it up to $100, $5, whatever you want, you can do so. If there is no value attached to it right off the bat, you could also put do not use a value for this conversion and then track it through something like a call rail and then add a value later and show whether or not this actually converts into a customer, which a lot of people do and see really great results with it because you're able to track sales as opposed to just leads. The next thing is the count. Essentially, if someone calls back 500 times, do you want them to count every single call as a new lead or do you want them to only count it as one? For an e-commerce store where you're selling stuff online, every time someone buys from you, makes sense to count every single transaction. For a service-based business, normally you only wanna count once because it's one customer. The next one is the call length. Essentially, how long does the call need to last in order for this to be classified as a lead? At the beginning of a campaign, I like to put it to 30 seconds just to get as much data in. And then later on, you can increase to 60, 90, 120 seconds, whatever you wanna do. This way it helps filter out people who aren't actually going to be a lead. That being said, you can also use a program like CallRail, like I just said, to help filter these things out and know exactly who is converting into a sale. That's gonna be your best bet on being perfect with this. But for just estimating, call length is also a very good factor. The next thing is the click-through conversion window. So essentially, how long does Google have to wait before someone has interacted with your ad for them to be counted? it as a conversion again. Is that going to be 30 days? So if someone calls you, you know, November 1st, and then they call you December 20th, do you want that to be counted as a lead? Or do you want to say, hey, that's a certain person, we don't want to count that as another lead. That's essentially what the click through conversion window does. I like 30 days, I think it's good, because definitely could have another problem, especially if it's a service based business like HVAC, maybe your pipe breaks in November, and your dishwasher breaks down in December or something like that. I like 30 days, again, you can decide based off your own situation. The final one is attribution, which is data driven. Uh, uh, you can set this to last click, but uh, data driven is essentially being the way of the future. And if someone calls back a handful of times, Google figures out what call is most important, which ad actually generated that. If it was a lead form, how does that interact? Should we give more attribution towards the lead form as opposed to the call? What should we do with all of that? Google data driven attribution solves all of that. You don't got to worry about it. I like data driven. I would highly recommend using it. Uh, it just saves yourself a lot of headache. 
Once we're good with that, we hit done. And then we're gonna come over here and hit save and continue. And then all we have to do is actually add this to our call extension. So all the calls are essentially directed to this conversion action. This is easy to do. Just hit campaigns, come over here to assets. And then under assets, we can find our call extension, which is here. And then as you can see, we have our one phone number. You see the little pencil icon here. We're gonna click it, hit edit. And then under conversion action, we're just going to choose call extension. Once we do that, we hit save. And now all the calls from our call extension will be directed to that conversion action so we can see exactly what comes from the call extension. The next thing we're gonna do is come over here to goals. We're gonna come back here to conversions and then we're going to make the phone call only add conversion tracking action. So we're gonna click on conversions again. We're gonna click on essentially the same stuff again, click on phone calls and then hit set up. And then we're gonna click on again, calls from ads. And this is gonna be when someone clicks a call ad or a call asset. We're gonna set this up so the actual call comes from our call only ad. So we'll do call only ad because this is another type of ad you can run in Google ads. If you're not familiar with it, I have an entire video online how to set these up. They're fantastic for only generating phone calls. If that's what you're looking for, call only ad. And again, going through here, we're going to select that we're going to select one, we'll turn this down to 30 and then hit save and done. Again, very simple to do. We're going to hit save and continue. But what we need to do is come over here, hit finish and come over to our ads. I already have a campaign set up. Like I said, you can follow my video instructions along on how to do that. And what we're going to do is scroll down here and find the campaign with our call only ads in it. We're going to click on it. We're going to hit ads. And then we're going to actually come in here to our ad. See a little pencil icon. We are going to change this over at the bottom. We're gonna switch this to call only ads, as you can see. And then we gotta do that for the other ad. I believe it was this one, perfect. And these will now be attributed to that conversion action. And the final step in this puzzle is setting up the call tracking for our website conversion tracking. Once we do that, we will be set and we'll be tracking all of our actual phone calls. We're gonna come back over here to conversions like we did beforehand, create new conversion action, but this time it's gonna be a little different. We're gonna actually have to go to our website or landing page and add a small tag on it. Now I'm gonna assume you have no conversion tracking set up whatsoever. If you followed my previous video, you should already have the Google tag on it. So you don't need to add that again. You only need to add the phone call tag on it or snippet, I should say. And that's just gonna be the end of it. It's pretty simple. What we're gonna do is hit set up calls from website visits. So this is gonna be the one tracking all of the actual phone calls on your website. This will actually swap out the number, really cool. What we're gonna do is select this option. Someone calls a number shown on my website or someone makes a click by clicking a number on my website. Don't add the clicks because people can click on stuff and it doesn't count. What we want is when someone actually calls you, we want it swapped out with a Google forwarding number and we want to track this so we can get the recording, we can get the keyword, we can get all of this and we can make sure this person actually called you. It's much more accurate. What I'm gonna do is steal Boonstra Heating and Air, shout out to them, their phone number. They're in Canada, so I'm gonna switch that, make sure that's correct. Make sure the phone number is exact because this will allow Google to swap that number out on the landing page. It needs to appear exactly how it appears on the landing page, like here. So enter the two phone numbers in, one here and one here, make sure they're exact and it's exactly how it appears on their website, like here. What we're gonna do is use this event and then we're gonna hit save and continue. And then of course we can come over here to settings and adjust this however we like. I'm gonna turn this down to 30, that's fine. We're gonna hit done. And now what we have to do is add in the Google tag. So what we're gonna do is first add in the Google tag. I'm gonna again, start off from zero. Uh, and then we're gonna add in the snippet. There's only two pieces of code, very, very simple. And we're, what we're gonna do is hit set up and this will pop up. This is gonna be our Google tag, which needs to be put on every single landing page or website page we have. I have a great little software called Landingly. I love it. It's cheap, easy to use and loads very quickly and a whole bunch of businesses like it. I love it for building landing pages for Google ads. And uh, it's just a great little platform to get better conversion rates in Google ads. I highly recommend checking it out. I'll leave the link for it down below. But of course you could use any other type of landing page software. Uh, it's up to you. Same with websites as well. What I'm gonna do is build this from scratch. We're gonna select template. We're gonna come over and find one. Let's see if we can find just a normal sign up form. I'll just add a phone call to this. That's the only thing that needs to be done. Test for YouTube call. We'll hit start editing. And the only thing I need to really adjust here is going to be adding a phone number to the website that Google can swap out so we can see it. So we're going to add a button. This will be a call button. Um, let's put this here, put it get a little bit bigger. Perfect. We're going to, what are we gonna do? You know what? Let's just put the phone number in. So we're gonna put the phone number in here. That's not the phone number. That is the actual <laughs> snippet I got. <laughs> so all we have to do is come back to the landing page, steal the number again, put the number in there. And what we could do is uh, call 
now. I like putting a little action up there just to make it a little easier to understand what's going on. Call now for a free quote. Of course, you know, take your time with this stuff and make sure it looks a little nicer. I'm gonna change the blue out and there's one other thing we need to do. We need to make this translucent because I just want that to pop up, cool. But the most important thing here is the click to call action. This needs to be set up properly. Uh, a lot of landing page softwares use this, same with WordPress, where when they click on this, what happens now? And for landing lead, we're gonna click on redirect and we're gonna hit tell, and then we're gonna add that little two dots in and we're gonna put the phone number in here and we're gonna make sure we remove this. It says incorrect format. I don't know why, but that's how it works. We're gonna hit publish, we're gonna publish anyway, and then this will pop up and we should be able to actually use this. So I will show you in a second how this works. Cool, this pops up, this is our website, looks great. And when we click on this, it should pop up, looks like the phone link, perfect, cool. What we're gonna do is copy this URL, perfect, cool. What we're gonna do now is actually add the code in. So, so all we have to do is just manually grab this, come back here to our landing page. We're gonna click on JavaScript code and we're gonna add this code in. This is just going to be the Google tag. We could do body. For the position, we're gonna hit header. For the page, we're going to do both. This needs to be on both, not just one. We're gonna hit add script and then this will add it to our landing page. We're essentially done at this point. All we have to do is hit cancel. We're gonna come down here to phone calls. We're gonna hit see event snippet. We're gonna copy this. And now this is the same process as the Google tag. We just hit add new script. We type in phone call tag, hit header. And this is for both pages as well. So make sure name, position is header and page is for both. And then we paste this tag in and then we hit add script and we're essentially done. What we can do now is come back here. We can scroll down and hit finish. So it's actually pretty unique on how we're going to test this. And what we need to do is essentially open up the landing page and use a little dash afterwards to essentially tell Google's debugging system to say, hey, please try and forward this number. So what we have to do, uh, it, very simple to do. We just take this landing page, copy this, and then in an incognito tab, you don't want to use any cache data or sometimes this won't load. We're going to type in hashtag Google WCC dash debug. And what this will allow us to do is have this little tool pop up in the corner here that says Google AdWords website call conversions. And what we're gonna do is hit force. When we do that, this number should change out to 99999. And when we hit force, it changes, meaning the conversion tracking is active and it is working. Now you've successfully installed all the conversion tracking for phone calls inside of Google Ads. If you're looking to install the form tracking as well, so when someone fills a form out and you get an email, I also have a completely free video on how to do that as well. I'll link it up above if you wanna check it out. And by the way, if you're new to Google Ads, you might wanna consider checking out our Google Ads optimization checklist. It's completely free and the link is down below walks you through on what to do on a weekly, monthly, and three-month basis. It also lets you jot down your results so you can see you're making progress month over month. I love the checklist and it's great for making sure that I don't do anything wrong and I don't change things too quickly. I use it all the time just to make sure I didn't forget anything. Now that's it for today's video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care and I wish you all well.